Every August, football fans all around the world rejoice. Training camps are raging with activity, and the NFL season is just around the corner. But the real delight for the savvy football fan is actually a little video game title named Madden. And to celebrate the release, Microsoft and Electronic Arts joined forces to declare this past Tuesday Madden Holiday in a little town called Madden, Mississippi. Local residents, as well as thousands of children and parents from nearby communities, join NFL legends Jerry Rice, Warren Moon, and Marshall Falk as they were some of the first people in the country to play Madden 07 on the Xbox 360. It's great, I, you know, high definition, everything. It just seemed like it's, it's so real that it's scary. The game just continues to get better and better every year. There's a lot of new you know, individual features like uh, run to daylight and different things like that that are in this game. So I think people will really like the quality and the, and the variety in this game this year. The best part, each of the 74 residents of Madden got a free Xbox 360 and a copy of Madden 07. As far as this year's title, it's a head and shoulder pad above last year's effort from Electronic Arts. Graphically, the game is still easy on the eyes, especially on the Xbox 360 version, and assuming, of course, you've got a really nice TV to watch it on. But even the current-gen consoles have received a bit of a visual upgrade. To the seasoned Madden player, there aren't a whole lot of changes in the actual gameplay, though, save for a few tweaks to the controller layout. But then again, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. There was one significant change that I found very useful, the new kick control. Now, gamers can use the right analog stick by pulling it back for power and pushing it forward to keep the kick in line. It's a little frustrating at first, but rest assured, with a little practice, you'll find yourself forgetting how it used to be done. Another interesting addition is the introduction of the lead blocker control. Players can now choose the lead blocker or maybe an offensive lineman before the play starts and attempt to pave the way for the shifty guys in the backfield to score some points. And although interesting in concept, this feature is a little difficult to grasp. Personally, I was having issues remembering that I wasn't actually controlling the runner, and by then I was 10 yards down the field, and my running back wasn't. This is a great feature, though. I believe EA is onto something with this total control type of football. The franchise mode in NFL Superstar is still available, even on the 360 this time around, and are revamped with new tools for the really intense Maddenites. Players are now assigned roles for their team, which can come in handy when you're trying to find out who to keep on the team and who to dump. Watch your trades, though. Players now react to new contracts, team captains being named, and what the game refers to as shopping players around. And sometimes it can be detrimental to your success. And it's no surprise when you start a franchise with the Cowboys that T.O.'s morale is already dangerously low. Madden is a great pickup for all ages, and Texas Gamer gives it a 4 out of 5. For Texas Gamer, I'm Mark Adam.